Good morning, guys. I look very crazy right now. I look like an old lady. It's giving babushka vibes. Say hi, Spasaf. Hello. The lighting is crazy in the car. I think this is the first time you're seeing me and Scott in the car driving somewhere. Scott passed his driving test last year. Congratulations. Um, and got a car last year. And has, I've been a passenger princess ever since. Um, we are going to New York. Uh, as you can tell from the title of this vlog, probably. Um, this is Scott's second time to New York. This is a birthday present for... No, first time. I haven't been to LA. What did I say? You said second time. Oh yeah, let's say that again. But this is actually Scott's second time going to America. First time going to New York. Um, we're going for, in celebration of his birthday. I won't say the age because he'll get mad at me. Um, no, don't say that, because then that's just suspicious. What? Uh-huh. What? <laughs> you just be like, oh, someone's going to say don't say their age. They're like, oh my god, how old are they? 54. 54. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm very excited. We're going um, just for like four days, five days. Um, kind of like a long weekend vibe. Um, I've obviously been quite a few times before. I've been with my friend Sarah, I've been with my mum, I've been with my bestie Tom. So I feel like I have a little bit of experience, but I've not been since just before the Panny D. So it should be interesting to see how much has changed. Apparently it's kind of like, it's always been crazy anyway, but apparently it's even crazier. So I'm excited. Are you excited, Scott? I am. New York, baby. New York, baby. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm taking you along with me and Scott for this little trip and we're just driving to Heathrow now. It's so nice being able to drive, like, well, Scott driving me <laughs> to the airport. Rather... I always get sick in, like, a taxi, just, like, sitting in the back early morning, get here, yeah. and up front. It's a lot of hassle. Fix the road, and do so. And sometimes we get the Piccadilly line to Heathrow, because we do live along the Piccadilly line, which is quite convenient, but it takes, like so long and you kind of just like sitting on a tube for like more than 45 minutes is not very nice um, and in the car we can like obviously have a little sing along and listen to music so. in one kilometer, use the okay we're nearly Heathrow now so I'll see you after we've like checked them as well. guys what are these little shuttles at Heathrow oh I've gone under the bridge you can't see I'm so confused <laughs> We were just walking around the airport and I said to Scott, do you remember on our first trip together, Portugal? Um, we both bought a book at the airport thinking, or like, not trying to impress each other, but just to be like, oh, I might read this book on holiday. And we never read them. I think I read them. Were we trying to impress each other? Did it work? Still here. Yeah, true. Reduce mobile passport control for US and Canadian citizens from an enhanced mover. Hey guys, we just checked into the hotel and the view. This is the main reason why we stayed here is because we have a city skyline view, which is insane. It's so sunny right now, it's kind of hard to see, but this is really cool. I've never stayed this high up in New York before. Crazy. They've given us little fortune cookies on the bed as well. This is Arlo in Nomad. I've got quite a few in the city. I actually have um, a discount code for you guys to use if you do want to stay in any of the Arlo hotels as well. So I'll leave it on the screen for you now. Look at him. So tired. Yeah, we didn't sleep or relax on the flight at all, That's really. Cool. But I'm going to take him to Times Square and <laughs> make him wake up. Yeah. 
What do you think of Times Square? It's, it's like one piece. Yeah. It's overwhelming. It's crazy. Wicked. Yeah. It, I said it's a lot, right? <laughs> I feel like we're getting lit from all the LED screens. Kind of crazy, no? Yeah. It's, I told you it's a lot. For sure. <laughs> Okay, we've come to the rooftop at the top of the Arlo Nomad and it's so high and there's not a lot of glass whatsoever and I'm freaking out because it's quite windy as well. It's, quite, it's like running around and also guys, look at this. I can't even stand over it, but there is a glass panel on the rooftop. <laughs> My hands are sweating. <gasps> oh my God. It's Empire State Building. What? I don't want to go on there. It makes, that, my, it makes my stomach go every time I look down. That freaks me the fuck out. Absolutely fucking not. Yeah, I can't wait to go exploring tomorrow. Now we're kind of drained now from like the day of traveling and then like just the sheer chaos of New York so yeah. we're gonna get an early night sleep and we got some melatonin from CVS so hopefully that'll help us nod off okay guys get ready with me for day one in New York City so I'm wearing just a long sleeve kind of band style t-shirt and then ripped Denim from Arcana. So then boots today, I'm wearing my piercing strike boots from Balenciaga. And then I'm gonna throw on my Arcana Varsity hoodie over the top. It's pretty sunny here in New York, but it's quite cold, especially like in between the tall skyscrapers. You don't always feel the sun. Obviously to cover my bald head as well, I'm gonna wear my little weekday beanie. Um, this beanie reminds me of the robber from Home Alone. Um, and then over the top, I'm wearing my AS Clo padded bomber jacket, which is like one of my favorite jackets ever. Um, it is so poofy and so warm, so it's kind of perfect. And then just got all my, and then just got all my regular jewelry that I wear every single day. And then to finish off the look, I'm gonna wear my Balenciaga super fizzy bag, which I've had for nearly two years now. Um, just wanted to get ready with me for TikTok using the window and Scott's just chilling in the background the whole time. I think you can see his foot maybe, I'm not sure. And we got a breakfast bagel with like turkey sausage, egg and cheese. It looks so good. Very glamorous on the side of the street. <laughs> After our breakfast bagels, we headed to this place called Noah Cafe near the hotel that I wanted to check out. And I have a lavender vanilla latte and Scott has a cloud nine, cloud nine which is like matcha and spirulina. They both taste so good. Um, and since it's Scott's first time here, we're doing lots of touristy things and some things I've never done. So like we're going to the American Museum of Natural History because apparently they have a T-Rex. So we're gonna go do that now. And then, dinosaurs. yeah, Scott really likes dinosaurs. And um, then we're gonna go around Central Park, so. Central Park with no green on the leaves is kind of spooky. There's a scooter, but I don't think I bought that from one. Hey. 
Apparently the ice rink at Rockefeller Center is all year round. <laughs> Crazy. I think Scott, me and mum came here and was looking at the ice. I don't, know, I don't think we went ice skating, but we just looked at the ice skating. And then I was shocked to see it here still. I guess it's March, but it's cute. <laughs> They're so cute. How cute. With the biker boot, but thigh high. Wow. All of the thigh high biker boots. Like crazy. So it's still the same day, but we've gone back and like I've changed slightly because it's fucking boiling here and I was in a hoodie and a bomber jacket and it was like too much. So we went back to the hotel, dropped off our stuff, dropped off our shopping bags, and now we are going to a barber's because Scott has booked a haircut. He had a perm before we came here and he just thinks that his hair's too long and needs cutting. Yeah, just in places at the back, especially. It just looks a bit weird, the contrast. So New, yeah. New York is very hit and miss. Like, some people are so nice and some people are like the absolute worst. Like, twice today someone's complimented my outfit and then twice since we've been here people have been very complimentary to Scott's face <laughs> um, but then some people have been mad rude as well like it's kind of crazy how this is chaos like the whole place is just chaos ready for your haircut he's out do you want to show off your lion's mane so he kind of dried it straight Scott's put his hat on because he doesn't love how he styled it but I think it looks really cute I don't know, I just need to do it myself. Yeah. But yeah, he cut it really well, so... I think they actually have it in Cuba. Did I? Yes. I mean, I still have it because I still don't know. So luckily for dinner, our hotel is right next door to a place that was on one of, like on my list of places that we wanted to eat, and it's called Take 31. And it's a Korean restaurant, so we're gonna try it. Wow. I'm in the same outfit as yesterday because I forgot to film something for a reel that I want to make while we're in New York. So I'm crazy and wearing the same outfit just for breakfast and then I'm going to change. It's so loud here. Yeah. It would just be like waking up in central London though, of course it's going to be loud, you know? Um, so, so yeah, we're going for breakfast at a cute place near the hotel that we found. So, and then this evening, huh? I just say like get some coffee. Need coffee. Yeah, desperate need of coffee. You guys get ready with me for day two in NYC. So first of all, we've got this Arcana heavy metal tea that's coming out at the end of April. I'm gonna pair that with these oil spill ca cargos also from Arcana coming out at the end of March. Cargos do fit a little bit big, so I'm putting my Balenciaga Western belt onto them. This has a really long, I bought like the biggest size I could so that we'll just like hang down kind of like this, which I really like because we can kind of see it poking out. Once again, I'll be wearing my piercing strike boots from Balenciaga. And today, no beanie, but we are just wearing an old cap. This is from Top Man. I've had this for like maybe like seven years or something and it's really sun faded, so I absolutely love it. And then also today, I'll be t testing out the Gentle Monster Maison Margiela sunglasses that they sent to me which are really sick. It kind of like silver, this whole fit is like silvery gray, black, so I feel like really good fits together. And then since NYC has been so hot today and yesterday, I am just wearing no jacket. So I'm just gonna put my Balenciaga super busy bag on with this look. There is not one place in this whole hotel room where I could show you the actual true fit. So you can check out my Instagram, just at Galax, if you wanna see more fit pics from the trip. So we've changed now, I'm ready to go out for the day. Um, 
first stop is CVS to get some the bits and bobs and then we are going to Levi's because Scott wants to try on a million pairs of jeans because he's trying to find the perfect pair of jeans which is a difficult task I'm not gonna lie I really only wear two pairs of jeans and they're both Arcana not even a plug like that's just it Today I'm wearing the oil spill cargo trousers from Arcana, which come out at the end of March. Very, very excited about these. I'm so, so happy with how they turned out. Scott just got a, what is it? A matcha? Uh, lavender, oat milk, something. It's like green and purple. It looks so cute. Can I try it? Like it's very nice, very lavendery, florally though. Nice. It's got an iced latte. This is nicer than mine. We've been in two vintage shops now, and I don't know what's wrong with me. Scott's bought a t shirt from both. But I just like. It has to be perfect, and if it's not perfect, then I can't get it. But. I guess I have a very high standard when it comes to clothing. I'm saying I don't. No, but you know what you like in terms of t-shirts. Whereas all of them haven't really been my style of tees. I don't know, something's stopping me. You guys, we're trying 7th Street Burger. You can already see the grease coming from here. We've come to a park just around the corner in the East Village to try. Oh my God, it's so greasy, isn't it? but it smells amazing. We're going over the river to watch uh, to a viewing party of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16 for Drew 4, um, which is exciting. I feel like we're both still jet lagged because we like crash around this time. I had a little nap back at the hotel, but I'm still like super sleepy. Yeah, we thought we'd get some healthy dinner because we've been eating a lot of junk. Good junk. But still junk. Yeah, how many not bad? No. Well, burgers, fries, fried chicken. You had granola for breakfast. So. I had half bag. Which I hate because I love cold weather. And Lena's a drag queen. Where? Yes, I do have another arm. <laughs> and congratulations on winning. It's Saturday. Hey guys, get ready with me for NYC day three. Today we're going full on tourist mode. We're gonna actually go and see the Statue of Liberty. So I'm wearing my NYC cap. I'm wearing this band style tee again and these Arcana ripped denim. Let the belt hang out like that. Today I'm wearing the Romeo Mules from Balenciaga. My boyfriend absolutely hates these, but I don't give a fuck. This is a vintage blazer that I found online from a store called Volga Volga. I absolutely love all the vintage pieces they have. My spike hoops off the look with this Hodakova belt bag made from upcycled belts and these Balenciaga sunglasses that look like bug eyes. Again, it's hard for me to show you the full look, but this, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> so we come to Dunkin' because we've never had Dunkin' Donuts before. And I'm going to try the iced cinnamon vanilla latte. So 
so sweet. It's good though, I'm gonna try it. Can't taste the cinnamon that much. These shoes have no grip whatsoever, so. Good luck, me. I was posing for a picture, I was like. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this Nirvana tea was a good idea. It's way too small. You got that, Scott? Quesadilla. Quesadilla. With a little egg. Yeah. These steamed rice rolls are so good. It's still Saturday, we went back to the hotel to change, getting comfy clothes, and we really, oh, we really want to go check out Grand Central Station, so that is where we're heading to now. If you think about it, it's kind of weird, because it would be like us going to Victoria or Euston Station in London. Or King's Cross, I guess. But this is on another scale, I think, compared to any of the London stations. Yeah, that's Apple Store, Scott says, where I got my iPhone 10 from. Okay, guys, New York has absolutely ruined us. Like, it's like being in central London every day for like the whole day so yeah. and today was overwhelming like downtown felt like a festival because of the because the weather's so nice it's just really hot and like sunny um so obviously everyone is out so yeah i felt like i was at a music festival um so what did we do today we did statue of liberty this morning on the staten island ferry then we went around downtown we went to loads of different shops had great food at that little canal street canteen and now Oh, then we went to Grand Central Station, mm -hmm. came back, changed, got into comfies, went to Grand Central, and now we have Chick-fil-A, and we're going to go and put some Netflix on, and just chill, because I'm, yeah, sensory overload, but yeah. It's the last day in New York, so get ready with me, day four. It is a little bit colder, which I'm kind of thankful for, because I've literally been dying of the heat. I'm wearing this long sleeve black tee with my weekday beanie and then these AS Clo joggers that have got a few like pleats in the top which makes them like balloon out really nicely. As I always say if you want to see a full outfit pic then probably head to my Instagram which is just at Galax. My New Balance, I forgot which model these are but I've literally had them for so long. They're my gym sneakers and I, they're literally ruined but I love when sneakers get like this. Out to wear today, I'm wearing this Project GR hoodie. It's kind of like a Carhartt hoodie, but it's like their own take on it. Like it's not the Carhartt logo. It says Project GR. And yesterday we bought a new charm for it and it is this little Statue of Liberty to go along with my Eiffel Tower from Paris and now Statue of Liberty from New York.
Good morning guys, we've come to the rooftop um, in, the day, in the daylight now because it's the last day of our New York trip and we thought we've only seen this at night so we thought we'd come and see it in the day. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing before we go for breakfast. You're looking out. I'm kind of trying to ignore that the, <laughs> the, that is there. Just trying to like look straight forward. Empire State. Which is so cool. So we're going to the High Line this morning. Just got, I'm trying the new white chocolate matcha from Blank Street Coffee. Mr. Scott has the cherry cold brew. Yeah, but it's not very pinky now because I kind of mixed it around. It's fine. I didn't realize I had Blank Street here. I thought it was only in London, but obviously it's worldwide now. So let's try this. It's delicious. Ah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. How's yours? It's actually not too bad. I hate cherry, but that is not very, it's not too cherry. Me and Scott are just saying, if there's one thing New Yorkers are doing, it's either having an iced coffee or on the phone, on hands-free, on like oh, headphones or something. <laughs> They're just always on a call or have an iced coffee or sometimes both, you know, always. Or beeping. Or honking, yeah. It's crazy mm -hmm. how much they honk their horns here in traffic. It's like constant. standstill traffic, it's like... Yeah. I was really smart in booking us a, like a midnight red eye flight and now it's only 10 p.m. and we're so tired like all I want to do is sleep we can't sleep until we get on the plane <laughs> not so clever 